So welcome everybody to this open Zoom. Hello. <laughs> So yeah, this is it. Not heavy, having anything to say, running out of words. Is this already? And there's no one separated owning any words which he or she can run out of. At the same time, there may be a sense while well, I'm out of words, I have nothing to say. I don't know what to say. It's already eyeless. It's already just simply this. There's no one having any words. There's no one having any thoughts. There's no one having any life. There's no one any, having any love. There's just simply this. And there's not even a this. There isn't a this. At the same time claiming there's just this. Or there is no this, is already just simply this. This is it. And not having any words and not knowing what to say is already just simply this. And it can be a trying to come up with things to say or the absence of the trying to come up with words, ideas, suggestions. It's already just simply what, what it is. There's already no one running out of words. There's no one having any words. There's no one having anything. At the same time, claiming and feeling I have it. I have a life. I feel it. I have a life. I have a wife. I have a job. I have a dog. I have this and I have that. It's already eyeless. It's just life as I have a bunch of things. And I have a bunch of things is already not a thing. The belief or the claim that you have something is already not a thing. It's not nowhere to, to be found. You cannot hold it. You cannot get it. There's nothing to hold. There's no you able to hold this. That's just, that's just simply this. And there's no one separated from this to hold this. And loving silence and thinking silence is golden. Silence, that's the real state. That's the magical state. I'm going to try to sit in silence a whole day. And when I do that, it will be much better than the absence of silence. All those ideas of or claims are just simply this. Just simply innocently effortlessly happening. Ideas, beliefs that silence is better than sound. It's just simply this. And these ideas and claims and beliefs and stories may just simply stop. The belief that silence is better than sound may just simply go, may just simply stop, vanish, dissolve, crash. But it will not stop for you. Whatever is happening or not, or whatever it seems to be happening or not, or is believed to be happening, is already not happening for you, nor will it end for you. The so-called ending and start of this is already for no one. There's no one separated from the end or from the beginning, nor is there a beginning or an end already. So this is it, sitting in a Zoom, speaking, listening, wondering, knowing what to say, not knowing what to say, 
liking the words, not liking the words, is already just simply innocently this. And these words are not for you. There's no one already who can do something with these words. There's no one able to hold them, to use them. At the same time, using the words is already just this, trying to make this practical, trying to use this in situations of grief, pain, suffering, happiness, trying to say, this is it, is already just simply this, and anything may happen, a relief, a belief, a sense it's not working, and whatever is happening or not has already nothing to do with you. As there's already no separated you and this. Nor is there a dish. Sorry, I, I let you guys so late in. I was not seeing that there was someone in the waiting room. Jeannie, you were in the waiting room. Tara. Guy, sweet guy there in Finland. Nice to see you. Naina. God damn, I, I'd have the name right in the first get-go. That's good. So yeah, so not knowing what to say may happen. Five minutes before the connecting of this so-called Zoom meeting, totally being blank, God damn, nothing to say. Oh my God, this is it. There's no one saying anything already. There's no one having anything to say at the same time. It's just this. Not knowing what to say, knowing what to say, sometimes, never. Being blank. There's no one who, who is able to be blank or full of words. Thanks. So welcome, sweethearts, everybody, Rosa, Patricia, sweetheart, Tony, Jeannie there, beautiful, Nina, Tara, Don, Guy, Chris, my friend, a lot of black spots. So here there's just a love to see all those beautiful faces. That's just simply how it plays. There he is. Chris. Good to see you, Chris. Yeah, so whatever is happening or not has already nothing to do with you. Even the belief it has to do with you or the sense, well, it has to do with me. I'm pretty sure I don't know what the hell you are talking about. I'm here. You know, this sense, I have a life, I have kids, I have a wife. What else? This is for me, this meeting, I'm sitting here. It's already just simply this. It's already you -less, as there is no separation. There's no you separated from this. There's no you in this or behind this, beneath this, far away from this, close to this. At the same time, thinking and claiming that there is, is already just simply full on this. And there's no me to blame. You know, blaming the me to be the seeking or the me to be the separation is already meless. This idea or belief that the me needs to fall away for this to be free is already freedom. Whatever is happening is free to be whatever it seems to be, including separation, sense of separation or talking about separation or feeling like a me, not feeling like a me, or everything in between. There isn't an in between. There isn't an everything. There is no thing to be everything or nothing. At the same time, there's just simply this, sitting in a Zoom, listening, 
maybe thoughts arise. What the hell is he saying? I don't understand anything of this shit. That's it. This may happen. It may be a sense, well, I get it, Sander. I, I really get it, you know? It's just this. Yeah, there's no separation. I can see it. I can feel it. Yeah. That's it. But there's no difference between, yes, that's it, Sander, or no. You're talking, you're full of shit. It's already innocently this. Here there is no persuading anyone. There's no need to persuade any one of the so-called characters on the screen to see it the way I see it because there's already no one seeing it. There's no one here seeing it's just this. There's no one feeling it's just this. It's hard to feel just this in the absence of someone to feel that it's not just this already. And all these words dancing are already not for any of the so-called characters. To be honest, I couldn't care less. I don't see anyone having a problem. I see only problems and happiness and joy and suffering. But I see no one in it. I see no one separated suffering or not suffering. And there's no intention to help anyone to see it's just this. As there is no one already who's seeing there's just this. There isn't a just this to see. It's hopeless. Whatever is happening is already hopelessly this. What else? There's no secret. There's no one having a secret. Claiming there is a secret is already no secret. It's just simply what it is, saying there's a secret. It's just full on openly, directly this. Boom. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Rosa, you want to share something? I hear you You are a little bit uh, blocked nose stuff. I'm a little bit uh, <laughs> everything. So this body is full on a mess. <laughs> I wonder that it, it doesn't look that bad, but it feels kind of... Okay, let's don't talk about it. I'm just enjoying the show. And of course, you're full on, full on pain and cold and everything. <laughs> so... Just this. <laughs> Thanks for sharing. Yeah, it's it's so, you know, feeling sick, having pain, cancer, whatever. <laughs> Maybe a sense of it's mine. I'm sick. I have cancer, but it's already eyeless. There's no one for who that claim is happening. There's no one doing the claim. There's no one owning the claim, it's mine. The claim, it's my body. It's already myless or meless. And this may go. This idea or this sensation or belief that I'm the body is just innocently this. There's already no one identifying with the body. At the same time, identifying the body to be me or not is already just simply this. And this identifying may just simply stop. And there's nothing wrong with identifying. We hear it a lot. I have to stop identifying. Identifying is not good. It's dirty. You should not identify. Well, that's it. 
claiming it's bullshit and not good to identify is already just simply this. And trying to not identify with the body or with your work or with your relation or with your gender or what, whatever, trying to do that is as innocent as the identifying itself. There's no one doing it already. So that's just simply whatever seems to be happening or is to believe to be happening or thought to be happening. As is this. Tony, sweetheart, do you want to share something? What's going on there? That's going on there. <clears throat> it's curious because it seems that that's a necessity or looking forward to, to speaking about this, to explaining this, to sharing this, to pointing at this. But this is impossible because this, the, the pointing, the explaining, the necessity, the looking forward is also this. Then it's, it's done. What else? But at the, at the same time, uh, I'm so glad to hear this and to speak about this, saying that it's done. Oh. What the else? same here, Tony, the same here. By the way, it's funny when you say done, it's like done. Done, yeah. sweetheart, do you, do you hear this? Tony is always mentioning you. <laughs> 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 done. It's done. Of course it's done. Who else? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, it's hard to talk about. You hear it's it's sometimes there seems to be the suggestion it's hard to talk about it. Well, it's it's impossible to talk about it because there's not something else. The talking itself is just simply this already. There's not something which is not already just simply this where we can talk about as something which is separated. You know what? When we take out the sense of the words and saying it's impossible to talk about this, which is like blah, 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 blah. This is it already. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yes. Saying blah, 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 is, is it already? It's quite obvious. And, then, you know, there may be... Words are just words, but there may be um, the idea that certain words are more important than blah, 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 blah. That's it. Claiming it's all blah, 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 or it's important is just equal. There's no one, it may shift, you know, finding it very important, finding certain words or phrases important and loving them than other so-called phrases is already just simply this. And this love or this liking or this resonating may just simply go. Melt the snow or the sun or like the rain falling. It's just what's happening, arms moving, Headship. Yeah, sweetheart, exactly. I remember. I remember how there was there was a great importance to understand the words, and then they simply dropped. It was just really like blah blah blah. Mm. Yeah, it's the same with the so-called seeking. There's already no one seeking. There was already no one doing the seeking. There was just simply seeking, and the seeking may just simply stop. There's nothing wrong with seeking. At the same time, thinking or believing that the seeking needs to stop for this to become free is already freedom. The belief that seeking is dirty and it needs to stop or the sense of separation needs to fall away before this to become free is already freedom. 
whatever is happening is free to be whatever it seems to be already. There's nothing wrong with seeking. At the same time, doing a whole Zoom meeting about the wrongness of seeking and it's that it's not good is equally just this. And there may be a resonating with the claiming that seeking is wrong or not, or both or neither. It's just this. There's nothing fancy or not fancy or special or not special about not seeking. Jeannie, sweetheart, what's up there? <laughs> Yay! Just madly in love, madly in love. And the lover is everything. <laughs> beautiful. Come on, sweetheart. I, I thought you were going to tell us a beautiful love story. That is it. That's the love story. <laughs> no, no, it's one. boring. The seeker is the thought. The Just seeker kidding. is what you're seeking. Yeah, there's the love story. <laughs> what is searched is already just simply this. Yeah. It's beautiful. <laughs> and it's so ordinary. Sitting in a chair, looking at a screen, that's it. Beautiful. Yes, it's extraordinary, ordinary, just this, just sitting, claiming it's just this is already just this. There's nothing more to it. Sitting in the chair, looking at the screen. Thoughts may be arising, not wondering what the hell I'm do I am I doing here again? When am I when <laughs> am I finished with this shit? Anything may happen. It's already useless. Nina, I see, I see eyes closed there. Is there something, is there a need for focusing? Tell me. You're muted. I, take my, I had to take my mute off. Um, ah, yeah, yeah. I wasn't deep in thought. Tell me, what's there to get? I see you with closed eyes. <laughs> There's this feeling of, um thinking there's something to get beautiful and and then seeing something that isn't there <laughs> and it and it brings up resistance um without going into a story i don't know how to talk about it <laughs> that's it yeah that's it there's a lot of things that I'm seeing that aren't there. Like somebody tell saying something and then I'm intuiting that they're lying. There's a there's a sense that they're lying, but I don't know that for sure. Yeah, and it's, it's hard to explain. Are they lying or are they or what's going on? Well, it's so natural. It's so natural, Nina. So I'm not sure. Are the, are they lying? You know what's happening there. Mm -hmm. This is it. You know, and this this sense or this belief or thought or whatever you want to call it. Are they lying? It's just simply simply this already. There's there's you know there's no you able to stop it. At the same time. Yeah. 
trying to stop it and wondering where does it came from or why do I think those faults or why does it happen is just simply this already going into the story saying I'm not going into the story is already just simply this it's as just having no clue yeah it's it's just dealing with feelings it's always meeting the feelings I'm just constantly meeting the feelings with as this, which is, I always call it compassion. That's the one of the names I call it. So there's, I, I meet it with compassion. And then it seems to heal faster or something. Like the, the resistance gets to rest. And the beauty is, there is already no you meeting it with compassion. There's no, no there's nobody doing that. Nina meeting this with compassion. There's just compassion. It's not separated. There's no secret Nina as a separated something mm -hmm. meeting. Mm -hmm. The are they lying with compassion or meeting anything else with compassion the meeting with compassion is already just simply this it's not meeting something else which is separated from this yeah that narrator seems to have a person behind it <sighs> <laughs> there's just narrating well, there is just narrating, exactly. There's no one doing it. It's it's just, there's nothing else. And this can just simply stop or be very intense, like a gibbering the whole time, constantly commenting. But it's empty. There's no one doing it. And there's no you for who it's happening as a separated you, as a certain type of observer somewhere else for who this narrating is happening. May I add something, Nina? While mm. listening to you here, it was the same. I, um, I heard this, what's wrong with your emotions? And this was my favorite praxis then, which I did. Simply like the feelings are coming up. And they simply wanted to show up and say hello <laughs> or punch you in the nose, maybe. So, and he was like, okay. So this was new in a way. It was a new game and this felt very cool. I loved it. And this simply played out automatically then. Yeah, there's just a noticing then without a, a yeah. an owner. Yeah. yeah. There's no one doing the noticing. And it's beautiful, Nina. There's nothing wrong there. Totally nothing. Oh, oh my God, nothing at all. It's just what's happening, including there's maybe a sense, well, I'm not so happy with it. I want it to stop. When will it stop? That's it already. It's as innocently as the noticing or the claims or whatever seems to be happening there. And it's all innocence. Mm -hmm. it's nothing wrong yeah. beautiful I love it when you also say add to nothing it's nothing wrong when you also say it's not and also nothing right <laughs> it well, makes it in a way more <laughs> Well, it's nothing right either. It's nothing wrong. It is nothing special or fancy about anything. At the same time, claiming it's wrong or right or whatever claim there seems to be happening, it's already just simply what it is. Hmm. Whatever's happening or not, it's just innocence. There's no one any, there's no one separated doing anything. can be a hard 
can be a hard pill to swallow talking about crime and violence and war, hate. It's all innocently this. This is free to be war, crime, hating, killing, struggling, depression, cancer, whatever. Hi, right, Tony. You're muted, my friend. You're muted. <laughs> well, sorry. But the good news is that all of this, uh, sorrow, happiness, this everything is nothing. That's great. I used to think, or in a way I was told, I was taught, that there's a kind of path between the nothing and the everything, between the absolute and the relative, between the infinite and the finite of night. And then, with the opposite, there's a path that the seeker must follow. And when I hear the first time that this is the relative being the absolute, that this is everything or the nothing being everything. It's so obvious. There's no path. Because it's this. This is everything and nothing. Then only the joy to repeat this and to hear this. One, 1,000 times. This is nothing, being everything. Then anything may happen. Even misunderstanding, seeming misunderstanding, seeming, because this is unconditional love. Being personal love, personal hatred, but it's unconditional love. Then it's done. <laughs> you always such a sweetheart, Tony, with your voice. I like it. So, you know, it's so beautiful, but there's no path to believing there is a path or not. Believing there's a path to somewhere or to nowhere or that there is a path or not. There is already no path to this. This is it already. This is it. Whatever is happening or not, there's no path to this already. The idea that there is a path or not is already this. The belief that there is a path to be trodden is already pathless. It's already just simply this. And there's nothing wrong or right with thinking or believing that there is a path or not. And there may be well, let me see. Let me try to trot this path of enlightenment. Well, that's it. It's innocent. And this so-called idea, let me do it, let me try and see, may just simply stop. Suddenly or slowly. Thinking that there is something to get or believing that there is something to get or not, it's already just simply this. There's nothing wrong with thinking there's something to get. And this idea or the belief or the sense that there's something to get may just simply stop. But it will not stop for you. The sense that there's something to get or not 
already never started for you as a separated someone for who this sense arose. There's nothing wrong with wanting to become enlightened, Don. Wanting to become enlightened is just simply this. Spending half of your life doing yoga and all types of postures, there's nothing wrong. It's just simply what seems to be happening. And there may be a sudden so-called moment when there's just no interest anymore. But this, the, the wanting or the need to become something else was already not for you. There's no one having any needs. There's no one owning any needs. There's no one doing any needs. There's no one to get rid of any needs. Sweetheart, let me say quickly hey to Elizabeth. Sweetheart. Oh, you did Manilibet. it already. Yeah. I know it's already always already and uh, just happy to see you Elizabeth even without understanding auch ohne was zu verstehen that's it just being here so cool love you <laughs> oh well there's nothing to understand at the same time there may be a trying to understand this to get this it's innocence. The idea that there's someone here or anywhere who can who has understand it, this is already this, and this understanding itself may just simply stop. The idea that there are certain characters or speakers or masters or whatever who knows this may just simply vanish. There's no one knowing this or not knowing this already. At the same time, claiming that there's someone who knows this or not is already just this. There's no way to go. It's just... It's just dancing. Free to be, I want to get it. Free to be, I don't want to get it. I have no needs. This is free to be needs or the absence of needs. Whatever's happening doesn't see you already. Sitting in a Zoom meeting doesn't care for you. Sitting in a Zoom meeting doesn't bring you anything. The headache maybe which will arise is already not yours. Or the laughter. Or the sorrow. Or the sense, I get it now. already ah nina sweetheart go ahead i had i had an image pop into my mind about well tell us being in a in like a grand canyon or something mm -hmm. and shouting and having that voice come back and so i can hear it so i can hear my voice <laughs> coming from out there and it, it has a feeling of like i don't want to be alone so if I see, if I get that reflection back that I'm not alone, that's what I want. So you scream and then the scream comes back to you. And it's like, my friend. <laughs> Nina, this is so funny. I was like, oh shoot, scaring yourself to death. <laughs> you can say whatever you want, I guess. You can, you can scare yourself, yes. Yeah, beautiful. Or you could say sweet affirmations. Yeah, anything may seem to be done. And there may be a sense, well, sweet affirmation, affirmations. This is the tapes, right? You know, the ones who tell you that you are boundless love and awareness and all those types of things and Mm -hmm. yeah it's um yeah what to say this this is it i mean um 
believing that you're everything or believing that you're nothing or feeling that you are everything or nothing is already this and there may be a there may be a need or a liking to hear these types of tapes until it doesn't it plays so freely listening to you are so Luis, hey it's here here it was happening i can remember now that you are talking about this i listened to Luis. hey my mommy gave this to me because in a way maybe my mommy was um uh, was concerned about me so because it helped her she gave it to me so this was my this was my um uh, daily thing to do and the, the thing was only like fuck i'm not getting this <laughs> Why can I? I'm not feeling this. The whole thing she speaks. Sometimes yes, but then not. You know. <laughs> well, that's it. And then this dropped. <laughs> like Xander Lynch's favorite muesli. Breakfast. Yes. Yeah, you know, certain things seem to be loved, and then it can slowly fade. You know, this love for so-called, or this need for affirmation may just simply vanish. Or maybe one day waking up and thinking, ah, no more of that sweet lady's voice. I'm done. I don't want to hear I'm boundless awareness anymore. Let me <laughs> listen to something else. Maybe... Uh, a podcast or whatever, you know, anything may just simply happen, you know, resonating or liking a certain voice or certain affirmations. It's the same with, with seeking. It's the same with everything. So to say the love for zoom meetings may just simply suddenly abruptly stop, or it may just simply fade away. Maybe one day you say, well, God damn, I've heard that voice so many times i'm just tired let me put on another voice a sweetheart listen your voice is so beautiful i've heard from a lot of people that they love your voice because it's so calming but you're right listening a little bit to you then this simply stops i'm not anymore paying attention to the content because it's over and over the same and the same again. Oh, yeah. It's, it's <laughs> so here it's nice. impossible to, to follow the content. But I can listen to you for hours just because of the voice, you know? <laughs> the so sound. It's just the sound. Maybe I should do this, um, these tapes with um, nine us. Affirmations. Like with the affirmations? Yeah, it's hopeless. It's hopeless. There's already no <laughs> you. <laughs> Well, probably no, you, you will to, fall asleep. Don't get me wrong. I don't want to influence you anyway. Just just go and do your thing, baby. I'm with you. <laughs> yeah, sweetheart, thank you for your kind words. Yeah, so, you know, the love for affirmations or the, you know, the liking of a certain breakfast or whatever you know likes and dislikes are just dancing around but they don't dance for you they just dance freely it can stop any so-called moment or it may just fade out so it's the same with seeking seeking there's nothing wrong with seeking there's no one doing the seeking there's no one listening as a separated you to affirmations there's just listening and there may be a sense that well Sandra, you're wrong i'm listening i put it on my head well that's it that that sense that it's me the belief that it's a me who is listening the real lift sense i'm doing this is already just eyeless there's no one doing that sense there's no one doing that claim or that feeling as a separated you able to stop it it may just simply stop but it doesn't need to stop nothing wrong with you. yeah sweetheart Zander Lincoln, have you ever listened to affirmations um, well, I uh, actually, I uh, once I listened. Yes, I had a, a friend, and she was um, she was like, "Well, Sandy, you have to listen to this." 
it's so beautiful and uh, it was in that way you know your it was a sweet lady with a nice voice um telling all types of things i was like amazed what she what she knew because <laughs> she told me i was all types of things and um i was like whoa it sounded uh, yeah very um knowingly and well she made me sleep but more than that yeah it it, it didn't do so at, at, at a certain point there was just uh, no interest anymore like well the silence was okay I didn't need to put her on my ears to sleep so to say was it also Louise Hay um I have no clue what her name was okay she didn't told her name. She just started blabbering directly when I put it on my ears. It was, you are boundless, this away. Ice cream. <laughs> well, and it's the same. I mean, it doesn't really matter. So there's no difference between saying there's just this or there's no you or no separation compared to there's a you are boundless awareness. You know, it's just already just simply what it is. And then maybe you're resonating with this uh, lady you called or not. You know, there may be a liking of that statement or that suggesting that you are boundless awareness. And this liking of this statement may just simply go resonating with, with the affirmations that you are everything may just simply stop and then there may be a resonating with some guy or whatever some so-called body who's saying well there is no you already that's just simply this and this may stop may shift into um, netflix uh, the vikings you know you know what i noticed now um i in a way as you said it's just like innocently having an attraction to something like affirmations or awareness or radical non-duality or whatsoever blah blah or cooking or sports and um i, I noticed like in a way i i needed help i was looking for help to to have a better life a better health a better whatsoever and i could not anymore for example with those affirmations from louise go with this because it was i simply saw okay in a way not functioning really or it's getting very when when you go into the detail there is a lot to do it's hard work man also with eating changing your diet and stuff you know and i was like oh no 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 this gets very complicated so i always kept it simple 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 and yeah and ended up here well she never she never gave me instructions about what to eat it was more <laughs> No, I was I was diving more deeper into this character Louise and checked out the books and saw that she in a way healed herself from cancer and stuff. Oh, yeah. And then I simply saw, oh, it's not only the affirmation, like uh, having those positive thoughts and ideas, how beautiful you are, but also changing, fucking changing your diet, you know, and this is hard work <laughs> in order to get healthy. Yes, and you know, wanting this body to become fit, you know, or wanting to become uh, healthy is already just simply this. There's nothing wrong. You know, this interest to to have a fit body is just simply this, to, to eat good food. There's nothing wrong with eating good food. There's nothing right with it either. It's just simply what it is. You know, the need to become a better or more loving person is already impersonally this. So as is the need to cur cure something, you know, have, being fearful to die of cancer and to, you know, eat only certain food and not other foods is already this. It's just innocently this, this fear for death, this fear for disease, it's just playing freely. There's no you able to stop the fear for disease or the fear for death. At the same time, this fear for disease or the fear for death may just simply stop. It's just what it is. There's nothing wrong with the fear for death. This may go. Yeah, sweetheart. And I noticed that all those, those, um, 
things I resonated with, like to get myself healthy and better and I don't know what, um, stopped when I heard the message, what is wrong with having fear to die? What is wrong with having fear to be sick? What is wrong with maybe an illness? And then I noticed, oh, wow, it's much more simple, simpler. It's simpler than I thought. It's the sickness already. It's the fear already. And this was then simple. Back to the simplicity, which I always love. And this played out as this Nina, as this play. Uh, some would say it's it's uh, it's work. For me, it wasn't work. It was the only thing I could do over and over again. Just just what's popping up. It's this already. No matter how I name it, label it. And even the labeling wasn't um, needed anymore. But this was like back to simplicity. It's what is. Of course it is. Yes. And, you know, this is not about not, you know, to to come into a state where there's no fear. There's already no you in any state of being fearful, able to move to a state where there's no fear. This is not about going into certain states or whatever where there's no fear fear may just simply arise but the fear is as innocent as the belief that i have to stop it i have to control it i have to get rid of it the need to get rid of fear is as innocent as the fear fear doesn't see you doesn't see you fear doesn't care fear doesn't care for you it has nothing to do with you. It doesn't even see you. It's just like the echo. Everything's an echo. Everything. Like it doesn't care about you. <laughs> no, exactly. Saying, and I mean, even saying it doesn't care for you, doesn't care for you. The words doesn't seem to care. I've never met any words who care. I never ever seen any words either. Um, when I was playing with this thing, with the directness of what is, I noticed that I was totally left with with the resistance to what is. It it was not in first place the fear; it was the resistance to the fear. It was the resistance to the pain. Always the mm. resistance, and then it was the resistance. Simply the resistance. Okay. Yeah. I hear ya. <laughs> Just hearing. <laughs> Just oh. hearing. Yeah. Patricia, sweetheart, how are you doing there in Scotland? You want to share anything tonight? Um. Yeah, just more well, resistance. See, that causes all the problems, doesn't it? Just resisting what is, and yeah. But apart from that, I'm fine, unless I want to talk about a me. So, and as I'm me-less, so there's not a lot to say. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Are you done? She's dancing <laughs> under the table. I love it. <laughs> Are you dancing there for yourself you know, under the table? Do, 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 do. Yeah, on the drums. <laughs> drums. Well, yeah, I mean, it's so funny, you know, coming to a conclusion. It's the resistance. Ah, so when I get rid of the resistance, then oh, no. I'm free. That's just another idea. There's nothing wrong with resistance resistance you know there's no one doing there's no one resisting already able to come to a state where there's no resistance resistance may happen resisting to go somewhere to stop in front of a car on a highway may just simply happen resisting food resisting to mm -hmm. hit your finger with your your finger with a hammer is already just simply this it's empty <laughs> There's I not it. about <laughs> resisting. It's so natural to resist. The religion is always so brutal, Dino. <laughs> I love uh, this brutality. <laughs> it, it's, Just, it's, yeah, I have to tell a story. <laughs> Yesterday, somebody else that I was witnessing was in resistance. And I, 
like whatever is here wanted to come to that person's rescue and stop them from having resistance. So I was trying to teach them something through like what like a practice or something. And I was like, I was hearing the voice and I was noticing what that's that's what is that? Like that wanting to help, but it's what is that? It's just what's happening. Yes. There's nothing wrong with being helpful. Hmm. You know, being but why not just let people have their resistance? Like why oh. try to get rid of it? Well, sweetheart, it's hard to 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 let people do something in the absence of a you or somebody else doing anything already. It's hard to not do something which you are already not doing. So right. it's, it's just what's happening. This innocently trying to help somebody crossing the street or, you know, when you see that someone is resisting pain or whatever, then maybe, well, you know, just accept it. There may be a saying, well, you know, don't resist, resist it. That's already just simply this. Trying to help a so-called other not resisting something else is already just simply this. This is it already. There's not something else. That is already this. Mm -hmm. But my helpfulness in a way that I thought was helpful to just hold my dad's hand because he was missing my mom who died. And my sister was sitting there and she didn't like what I was doing. She's like, why are you trying to bring mom back when she's not here? <laughs> I'm like, that's not, that's not what I was doing. I was just holding his hand and just feeling like the energy of love that mom had when she was holding his hand so I held his hand and my sister didn't like that she's she thought that was wrong yeah but that's so innocent you know it is it I is think it's wrong what you are doing there so already this this sense of wrongness what seems to be happening the sense well my sister is doing something which is wrong it's just simply arising mm -hmm. so there's all this wrongness that's being echoed back and forth, it's wrong, it's wrong, it's wrong. It's, and and it is, it's kind of like a ball being bounced around against the walls. Oh, yeah, I mean, there's just bouncing, you know, there's no <laughs> making the ball bouncing. There's just this bouncing around in all types mm -hmm. of forms and shapes and yeah, absence that's just, of shapes. Too. I mean, saying it's just bouncing is already this bouncing in the shape of, well, it's like bouncing balls. Yeah, it's so beautiful. There's just, you know, this, this so-called need to sit with your dad and, and, and hold his hand is just what seems to be happening. What seems yeah, I didn't have to include a story, but a story came. Oh, yeah. Well, it's all a story. There's nothing else. There's no one in this story you're able to leave it. And yeah, there's just a lot of stuff, stories like protecting other people's feelings and not wanting to say something because that might hurt somebody's feelings. And then somebody's talking about it. And it's just like a big, huge web of do this, don't do that. It's it's just constant. And it's tiring. <laughs> And it can just flip this, this, oh, I don't want to step on somebody's toe. Let me not say this because then this, this and that may be happen. The, this whole certain dialogue may just simply ease or stop. Mm -hmm. It's all being afraid of to hurt people or to say the wrong things or to not know if the right things are being said. All that is just simply this already. And this may just go Tony 
Yes, there, there's only unconditional love, no? There's only compassion. And that compassion or that unconditional love sometimes may appear through a need to help, no? A personal help. But may appear uh, like, clack, get off, no? Oh, enough. Wow. And that's the same. It's unconditional love because at the end, well, here is only this looking forward to share this mystery, this majesty, this not knowing. And sometimes mm -hmm. that appears that a seeming helping, personal helping, almost teaching, but most of times enough. And it's the same energy at the end. At the end, no, it's nothing else. <laughs> that, that was beautiful. That was beautiful, Tony. Thank you so much. Very beautiful. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Don, sweetheart, can we see your beautiful face there? Or are oh, you hiding out? You can see it in your imagination. <laughs> Well, I have none. <laughs> there's no, there's nothing over here anyway. <laughs> this is just sound. <laughs> this is sound loving you. Yeah, that's it. Sound loving you. You're such a sweetheart, Dom. Easy, e e easier to love you when it's when it's not being seen. Oh, really? Oh, very beautiful. Yes, very beautiful. The love here is greater because you can only hear sound. This is lovely. You're also lovely. Ginny, look at that smile. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, big smile. Oh, I'm being blown kisses. That's beautiful. <laughs> I, can I can take that as long as you can't see me. <laughs> if you could see me, then I couldn't accept the kisses. See? Very beautiful. Your sweetheart, Don. That's true. Always a pleasure. That's true. <laughs> it's beautiful how Don pointed indirectly to there is no one already. I loved it. So in a way, when there is no one, it's more, it's more uh, easy to get the kiss and the love, to receive <sighs> the love. And when there is someone, it's not that easy. Beautiful, Don. I love it. Beautiful. Thank you for saying that. That was beautiful. <laughs> Mystery is sexy. Chris, <laughs> <laughs> mm. buddy, you're working. I can see you watching the screen. What's up? Yeah, just working. Multitasking. Yeah. But yeah, no, I, I really don't have anything to say, like always. Um, yeah, nothing really seems to come up in these meetings, so. Nothing really to force. But yeah, um, what to say, really? <laughs> I don't know. Well, yeah. it's so beautiful. I, I started this meeting, so to say, with nothing, you know, there's nothing coming up. And there's almost uh, more than an hour, all types of words seemingly arising and dancing. And so, yeah, anything may happen, dear friend. Yeah, I mean, I guess uh, when we talked about this the other day, um, you know, what seems to just be coming up is this sense of we're just thinking about responsibility a lot. Uh, you know, there just seems to be this, oh, well, I don't know, this idea or belief that there's this a sense of responsibility when speaking about this or in a yeah. responsible way, we talked about 
suicide, right? And you know, being responsible in yeah when when things are being yes yeah, and I I don't know what it is really. I feel like there's uh, there's still maybe a fear of talking about it openly, speaking about it. Um. Like there's a there's a fear that someone may think that there's something here that was gotten or understood, or that I have something that they don't. Um, it doesn't feel that way. Yes. Um, you know, so. So yeah, I mean, it's just it. You know, I, and I just don't really want to. It doesn't seem like just expressing this how how it's been heard is really of interest. Um, but. You know, I mean, posting happens on Facebook sometimes, but there's no one doing that, really. It's just, just happens. Yes. Um, but, uh, but, yeah, I mean, you know, I wish there was more that was <laughs> said. Oh. There's just no interest in, in speaking about it right now. Maybe it'll happen. I don't know. But, uh, but yeah, I don't mean to disappoint. <laughs> oh, you 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 don't disappoint you don't disappoint anyone and you know this it's uncontrollable how this how these words or this is hurt there's just no way controlling how this is hurt there's already no one hearing this in that sense there's no there's no possibility to control how this is heard or seen because there's nothing else. This is it already. And, you know, being fearful or trying to be responsible is already just simply this. So not knowing how this will land somewhere else is already this. There's nowhere else. This fear, this need to be responsible when it comes to communicating and not wanting to give a wrong signal or a wrong message is already mm -hmm. this. It's beautiful. Yeah. Taking so-called other others feeling into consideration is already innocently this. Yeah. Being grateful <laughs> that someone may hear this in a certain way as well. Okay, so I don't have to do anything or there's no me already taking my life or not. So what's the whole big deal? You know, this is this already. Yeah, beautiful. So thank you, sweetheart. You're such a sweet guy. And um, yes, that's it. Thank you for your sharing, my friend. Yeah, love you. Love you. I, I, I don't know what Chris is talking about, but um, there is an an honesty there <clears throat> that um, that opened my heart, and so whatever Chris was saying, whatever. Um, I, I say thank you for the heart. My, this heart says thank you. So there's an understanding, even though I didn't understand what you were talking about. And this is, is a deeper, it's probably a, a better understanding than like intellectually understanding what you were talking about. So I thank you. I don't know you. I mean, I've seen you on these meetings, but deep love for you. Deep love for you. Thank you. Well, sweethearts, I think I'm going to round it up. <laughs> if there's anyone who has a so-called need to say something or just um, unmute yourself and start talking. I want to say thank you 
to each of you, to each one personally. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Love. Love. Thank you, dear Tony. Same here. Thank you all. I love you all. Likewise. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank Thanks, you. everyone. Thank you. Have a beautiful mm -hmm. uh, day, yeah. night, morning, mm -hmm. afternoon. Yeah. Yeah. Take care. Thank Good night. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.